Welcome back. This tutorial is uh, pretty much done. We already finished going over the main topic of this tutorial, which is the first of a series of production tutorials. And uh, the idea behind this tutorial was to build this house with the thought in mind that it was going to be viewed and rendered on the inside, not the outside. The outside would be exterior modeling, and that could be a whole different project in itself. So we focused on the inside and we did a pretty good job of establishing our overall space in 3D environment. Of course we don't have any of the details yet but that will come in the next tutorial. What I want to do as a little bonus for you is uh, teach you how to set this up to do a nice clay render of this interior space because it would be a shame to build all of this and not get to see it rendered uh, pretty nicely here. Okay. Alright so this isn't a rendering tutorial but I decided to put this bonus video here uh, just as an added bonus to show you how to do some nice clay renders. So we're going to use this space to do a nice clay render. Okay? If I hit Shift and Q to do a render, this is what I get right now. I'm using the default scan line renderer from 3ds Max, which is a pretty good uh, strong renderer. But 3ds Max comes with the Mental Ray Production Renderer, which is a very, very good renderer used in the industry. So we're going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a clay render using that. So very quickly, I'm just going to go through the steps here so we can set this up. And first thing we want to do is go to the rendering menu. And we want to go to render setup. Shortcut is F10 on the keyboard. That's going to open up the render setup window. You can see up here in the top it says default scan line renderer. What we want to do is switch over to the mental ray renderer. So to do that, I'm going to close all of these rollouts. And the last rollout here is the assigned renderer rollout. You'll see on the production it says default scan line renderer. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's click on this button over here. And now let's choose the mental ray renderer from the list. Once we do that, some of our tabs here changed to uh, show us that it's the Mental Ray Renderer because uh, the Mental Ray Renderer has different options than the default scan line renderer. Okay? So now that we did that, I'm going to close the render setup window. We'll come back to it uh, in a moment. What I want to do is set up a light because if I go ahead and I render this out right now, all I get is this, which doesn't look very good. Not very interesting. So let's set up a light. If we go over here to the Creation tab, Remember how we use geometry and we use shapes? Well, there's also a systems category of objects we can create. And there's a few objects here we can create. The one we're interested in is the daylight system. Okay? Once we click on that, we're going to get this message here, this box that's going to say, you're creating a daylight system. It's recommended that you use the Mental Ray MR Photographic Exposure Control set to an exposure value or EV value of 15. Okay? I'm going to hit yes so it does it for, uh, for me automatically. You'll see in a moment what it just did. I'm going to click and drag once to create the compass and then I'm going to let go of the mouse button and drag again to basically create our, our sun here. Then I'm going to click again to end that. Go to the uh, modify tab and what we have here is our daylight system. Okay, in 3ds Max we can create a daylight system that's going to light up our scene well using exactly as it's called the daylight system. Now the daylight system consists of two main parts, the sunlight and the skylight. What we're going to do is switch from a standard sunlight to the MR sun, okay? That's the mental ray sun. Let's switch the skylight out from the regular default skylight to the MR sky. And once we do that, we get another uh, dialog box here that says, you're creating a mental ray sky. It's recommended that you also add a mental ray physical sky environment map. Would you like this to be done automatically? I'll hit yes. Please, do it automatically for me, okay? Now if I render this out, this is what I get. I basically get myself this default sky background. And if I render while facing up towards this icon here which represents the sun, you notice that we can see a sun in our scene. Okay, and all of this is created for us automatically. But our house geometry here still doesn't look too good. It's using default uh, materials which don't work too well with mental ray. They, they can work, but they won't look too well. Let me make some changes here to the daylight system. Down here we have the Mental Ray Sun basic parameters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the multiplier from 1 to 3 so it's brighter if I render that out. It's a little bit hard to tell. It did get a little bit brighter but we'll see a bigger difference in a while. Shadow softness. I want to increase the samples from 8 to 32 so it looks nice and smooth. It doesn't have uh, any artifacts. I'm going to go to the Mental Ray Sky advanced parameters right here and I'm going to take the blur and change it from 0.1 because if I go ahead and render this out 
see here's the environment uh, the horizon blur back here in the environment you can see it's a little bit blurred out but if I change that to say 0.5 what I'm gonna end up with is a little bit more of a blur back there which uh, looks nicer in my opinion you don't have to do it but I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way and let me see what other options let me move this out of the way let me see what other options I want to change here I think I'm gonna keep it like this uh, for now actually let me go up to the mental ray sky parameters and I'm gonna take the sky multiplier I'm gonna change it from 1 to 5 to really make that background sky brighter because it looks a little bit dull okay that's much better I want it nice and bright and vibrant okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come inside the house here what I want to do here is render this out from the inside because that's actually what we're focused on not the outside of this environment so I'll just do another test render and this is what we have right and it's using a indirect illumination final gather uh, by default it's using it uh, already okay so we can see a little bit of lighting barely nothing it looks just pitch black in here so I'm gonna close this what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to rendering menu and I'm gonna go to exposure control so I'll click on that and the environment effects window opens up and you can see here we have the mentory photographic exposure control and down here we have the exposure control parameters and we can select the preset so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the preset here physically based lighting indoor daylight okay and if I go ahead and I render this out again what's gonna happen is everything's just gonna brighten up okay yeah let me go here let me just move some stuff around so you can see this a little bit better okay now so it's a little bit too bright I'm gonna take the exposure value or the EV value over here and I'm gonna change it from 10 to something higher I'm gonna to go to 14 14 is gonna look a lot better and although it seems kinda of backwards the higher the number the darker the scene okay the lower the number the brighter it's gonna get okay that sounds like it's backwards uh, that's just the way it is just bear with it I'm gonna take the highlights to burn here and I'm gonna reduce that to point 0.1 I'm gonna take the shadows knock that down to uh, point 0.1 as well and everything else I'm going to leave alone right there now if I render this out again this is what I'm going to get here okay doesn't look like much of a difference but we're getting there over here the uh, gamma is disabled now it says we recommend turning it on I also recommend that you turn it on okay so I'll hit the setup window and it'll take us straight to the gamma correction I'm going to turn gamma correction on now you could do gamma correction at a value of 2.2 .2. I like to use a value of 1.8 in my opinion 2.2 .2 just looks a little bit too washed out for me so I'll hit OK and you can see the gamma already takes effect you don't even have to render it again it just applies it automatically uh, which which is a great thing All right now I'm gonna close this window I don't uh, don't really need it anymore and now what I'm gonna do is uh, one of the most important things here you notice we're using all those default materials that the objects were simply created with uh, once we made them now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the uh, the material editor and you can get that easily by going to the rendering menu and going to material editor or hitting M on the keyboard is the shortcut okay in the material editor I'll select the first slot I'm not gonna go over the whole material editor uh, simply because we can dedicate hours and hours of another tutorial just to that so I'm gonna select the first material slot up here in the upper left really doesn't matter which one but I'm gonna go with that one over here in this button that says standard I'm gonna click on that now we're going to get the uh, material map browser now you notice that these materials have different colored uh, little spheres next to their names well the ones with yellow means that they're mentor ray materials so if you don't see these loaded up here it's usually because you don't have mentor ray loaded up so what you have to do is assign mentor rays to, as the renderer as the production renderer and these should show up with the little yellow spheres next to them okay there's lots of mentor ray materials you can use I'm going to go ahead and go with the pro materials down here and I'm going to choose wall paint just make myself a generic uh, gray or, or whitish uh, kind of wall paint shader I'll hit OK and now the shader parameters change by default the wall paint is sort of red now let's apply it to all the objects here in our scene so I'll just zoom out here I'll select all this stuff here all the geometry basically and if I just go ahead and with this material here so 